have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or favour to the learned, but time and chance happen to them all. Moreover, no one knows when their hour will come. As fish are caught in a cruel net or birds are taken in a snare, so people are trapped by evil times that fall unexpectedly upon them. Ecclesiastes 9, verses 11 to 12. Well, wow. Welcome back to your message of the day with Iman the Messenger. Um, the message of the day today is for creatives, especially creatives. I mean, this, this can apply to um, anybody else as well, but creatives, I'm talking to you, especially uh, you creatives who are prophetic and you understand times and seasons and you understand the importance of obedience. You, you understand the importance of not delaying doing certain things. And maybe God has been speaking to you recently um, about not delaying on what he's been telling you. Um, so this will hopefully be a confirmation to you um, to get on with it. But the word of the day today is that is don't delay. Don't delay, don't delay, don't delay, don't delay. So we just read Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 9 from 11 to 12. And essentially uh, what the Holy Spirit is saying through Solomon here is that under the sun, and that, that phrase essentially just means on earth, right? Under the sun, human, you know, mankind, humankind. Um, Solomon has observed something. He's observed that like, Battles are not necessarily won by people who are strong or like, you know, races won by people who are swift all the time. But actually, like, it's it's time and chance that happens to everyone. Like, everybody has their day. Everybody has their time. Everybody has their chance to do something amazing. And, you know, people like to call it uh, luck, right? You know, it's a common phrase. Oh, you're lucky. You're really lucky. Wow, I can't believe you were so lucky to have been in that place at that time. Or, oh man, I wish I was as lucky as you, right? And the thing about us as believers, those of us who believe in Jesus and um, are creatives that move on his on his clock, like for God, nothing is time and chance to God. It can be random to us, but it's not to God. You know, God has a schedule. God knows the times and the seasons. You know, God knows what affects this and and that this affects this and that this affects that. You know, God knows the chain reaction of everything. And so how does this relate to us as creatives? You know, sometimes uh, God will give us an idea, right? He'll give us a creative idea. He'll give us something that we're supposed to do in a set period of time. And sometimes it doesn't look like doing that thing at that time is the best thing to do. Um, Maybe because we're looking by sight, right? We're not looking by faith. And so with our eyesight, we see in front of us that "Mm, this isn't really the season to be doing that. I I don't see the demand for that. Yes, thank you, Lord, you give me this idea, but I don't see the urgency to do that right now. You know, maybe because we're already doing something else, right? Maybe because we're already juggling uh, somebody else's thing or our own thing or whatever it is. And we're like, I don't really have the time or the space or the um, conviction, right, to implement this thing right now. But, you know, the Holy Spirit keeps on like nudging us and nudging us. The reason for that is because God is a God of, um, of times and seasons, as I said, like he... He sees ahead um, of things. He sees things that we don't see. And so it's the same thing. Like if you look at Noah, right? Look at Noah in the word. Noah had never, ever, ever seen rain before. Ever. Because um, there hadn't been rain on earth for, oh gosh, I think it's 400 years. You can, you guys can check in your Bibles. But basically there hadn't been, there hadn't been rain in Noah's lifetime. So from the time Noah was born 
till the time that God gave him the instruction to build the ark, uh, there was no rain. But God told him, hey, I, like, I'm going to flood the earth, like, build an ark. Now, Noah could have been like, eh, that doesn't really make sense because according to my eyesight, there's no rain. I don't see any rain. I don't see any clouds forming. I don't see any rain coming to the earth, right? Like, I don't think that that's going to happen. And so he could have delayed building the ark. And if he did delay building the ark, right, and he built the ark, maybe he started building the ark a month later or two years later, right, he might have not had enough time to build the ark to the, the specifications and the measurements um, and just the, the, the grandiose that God had for him to build. And if he didn't, then he would have been caught up in the flood and his family would have been also caught up in the flood as well. Um, and um, an, a kind of new era of humanity wouldn't have continued through Noah. Um, so what does this mean for us? It means that whatever idea that God has given you and you know it's like he's making it clear that it's time sensitive, but you may not think it's time sensitive. Um, just obey, like really, really obey because you don't know what is coming next. You don't know um, what God is um, preparing you to do or preparing you to be a part of, you know. Um, I I'll give a personal testimony. I remember during lockdown, just before lockdown, uh, God was telling me to um, consistently do poetry videos online, you know, just like nearly every day, like consistently put them out, put them out, put them out. And during this time, um, there weren't many people doing that, you know. Uh, there weren't many people doing that. It didn't really look like something that was um, going to yield any sort of fruit, right, for my life. And I just, I just obeyed. I, I, I did it. Thank God for the lockdown because I had the free time, right, to do it. And it was something that really, really helped me with my like uh, mental well-being, man. Just having that creative outlet uh, with with the Lord. And so I was doing that, posting videos and doing all that stuff. And um, you know, little do you know, people are watching, man, and people are people are seeing how consistent you are with your craft. And um, I got a message from a friend, but long story short, I got to work with a company, a really, a really big, well-known company, um, without like striving for it. I wasn't even trying to, I wasn't even trying to work with that company. I was just putting out videos. I was literally just doing what he told, what he told me to do. And so, you know, I can't, for instance, if you're a poet watching this or you're a content creator, I'm not saying that if you go, go ahead today and like uh, start putting out videos every day that you're going to work with some amazing company. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if you do what God has told you to do, then you don't know what amazing opportunity is ahead of you. Or you don't know the kinds of people that you're going to impact, touch and save, you know, uh, just from doing the things that God is asking you to do. Um, I'm, I'm learning that it is better to do what God is asking us to do than to do the thing that we think is smart. You know, the, the smart things may look good, but they will never, they will never, ever, 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 ever yield as much fruit as what God asks us to do. Jesus says that his words are spirit and life. So literally there is spirit and life on whatever he says for us to do. And uh, if we are faithful to do what he says, then we will experience spirit and we will experience life. And other people who are attached to that word will also experience a spirit and life. And um, yeah, I mean, some of you know the company anyway. I, I guess I'll say it, but it was um, uh, West Ham United uh, Football Club. I got to do like a poem with them basically uh, on like an anti-racism uh, campaign. And... Um, as I said, man, the way that the opportunity came to me, it was, it was honestly just through obedience um, to, to God, man. And um, he kind of hooked me up with that through a friend. Um, and I didn't ask for it, you know? And so I encourage you, please just be obedient 
it's not about all the vanity metrics. It's not about the views. It's not about the likes and shares, all that stuff. Just do what God's asking you to do. And um, you will find yourself at the right place at the right time. That's your message of the day. Don't delay. Iman the Messenger, out. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video if it blessed you. And please share it with others because if it blessed you, I'm sure it will bless them as well. Over here, you should have a button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please, please subscribe. It helps with our reach. It helps us to bless more people. And over here apparently is a video that is just for you, according to the YouTube algorithm. I don't know. Click the video and let me know in the comments if the video is just for you.